Do you know the difference between the append and after methods in jQuery? The append method inserts data or element inside the selected element at last index. Hence, the new element or the data will become the child of the selected element. The after method inserts data or element after the selected element. Hence, the new data or the element will be the sibling of the selected element. Let us see the difference between these two methods with the help of an example. I have created a basic HTML file with link to the latest jQuery library. So this is ready to code in jQuery. Let me add a div element div with class equal to parent. That is this div element is going to contain other two elements. Let me name the class as parent. Then inside this, I am going to add another two div elements with class name equal to child. Div class equal to child. First element. Div class equal to child. Second element. Now let me save the file. I am going to style these two parent element and child elements style dot parent as I am accessing the element using its class name let me add a border 2px solid black let me set the height equal to 390px and width equal to say 250px I am also going to style the child elements dot child let me set the border 1px solid black. Let me set the height equal to say 100px and width equal to say 200px. I am also providing margin, margin 20px and let the background color be pink. Now let me save the file and see how it appears. Right click open with Google Chrome. See, this is the parent element because we have not set any background color. It is in white color. Now, these two are the child elements. Now, let me add two buttons. That is, on the click of the first button, we will call the append method. And on the click of the second button, we will call the after method. So, button id equal to btn append and the other is button id equal to btn after and after okay now let us write the jquery code so let me add the script tag script type equal to text or javascript now document dot ready function dollar document dot ready function opening and closing brackets opening and closing curly braces we have to write it here next we need to write on the click of the btn append button so dollar hash btn append hash dot click function i want to append a new div element on the parent so dollar dot parent as we are accessing it using its class name dot append let me append a div element div with class equal to child third box or third element let me close the div let me close the double quotes as well now what will happen if i try to click the btn append button the div element will be added to the parent similarly we need this for the after button as well so copy paste the name of the button is after and this is instead of append method we are going to call the after method let me save the file 
So we have already discussed the append method. We'll add the element as, as the selected element's child. Whereas the after method will append the element as the selected element's sibling. So let's see how it works. Refresh. See, I'm going to click the append button. So the append method will add the element to the selected element's last index, making it the child of the selected element. So this is the parent element and making it a child means it should be added here. So let's see that. Append. See, the element is added as the child element of the selected element. That is the parent's child. Next is the after method. It will add the element as the selected element's sibling. So it should be added after this parent element. So I am going to click the after button. See, the element is added as the sibling of the parent box. And when I click the append button, the element is added as the child of the selected element. So as we have seen, the append adds the new element or the content as the child to the selected element. Whereas after adds the new element or the content as the sibling of the selected element. Thus we have seen the difference between the append and after methods in jQuery.